I don't know which one of us women need to hear this, but you have to stop internalizing when a man can't show for you in the capacity in which you like. Because here's my thing, right? A lot of us will sit at home and we'll start questioning ourselves. Are we worthy enough? Are we deserving of this? What am I doing wrong? I've done the work. I've done all of this. See, a lot of men don't know how to receive a good woman. A lot of men love the idea of having a good woman. See, a lot of men also are just used to toxicity and drama. So therefore, when a good woman presents herself, he doesn't know how to receive us. A man love the idea of having a woman who's going to be able to communicate effectively. A woman who's going to show up for him in a capacity where it feels good. It feels cozy. They want a woman who's going to make them feel safe to be vulnerable and to be transparent. Create that space of vulnerability. But then when a woman presents herself, they don't know how to receive it. So now when we start to come to them and we communicate with them some things that they're falling short of the wayside or some voids or some inconsistencies that are starting to form in a relationship, we're now combative. We do too much. They start to gaslight us by telling us it ain't that deep. Maybe you doing too much. Some men just don't know how to receive us because a lot of men are used to toxicity and mess. They don't know how to receive a good woman. So a lot of men love the idea of us. But when we present ourselves, they don't know how to receive us. So women, stop sitting at home questioning yourself. Am I enough? You are more than enough. But you have to also keep in the back of your mind, ladies, that you're not for everybody. And everybody is not for you. So at the end of the day, stop always thinking that it's you. It ain't always you. Call me back. Peace.